Okay, then boys, today we did a play review on the new Marcos Acuna Fantasy FC card as part of the mini release. Um, we are going to just have a quick look before we jump into the analysis. Um, I did just say play review there. Mind my French. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to have a quick look and see what we think Sevilla are going to do and sort of if he's going to get upgraded and stuff like that. So Sevilla aren't actually too... Well, they no, they don't keep clean sheets, but they did keep a clean sheet in their last game. For the last two games, actually, they have kept a clean sheet. Um, so it is highly probable that they'll get a clean sheet. So I'm, he might get an upgrade there and already go up to the 90 rated. And then the two wins, one they had, they did get two wins in their last four games. Um, but they are playing Real Madrid in these next ones and Sociedad. So it could prove a little bit of a struggle for them considering, you know, they are a stinky club nowadays, 15th in the Liga. Um, so, you know, that one could happen. I think the clean sheet one's more likely to happen than that. I'm, I reckon Acuna will make three appearances, though. He does, yeah, he is He is a very, you know, prominent starter for them. So he should make three appearances coming in at centre-back or left wing-back. So, you know, we're thinking probably he's going to get two upgrades. They're definitely not going to score. Um, uh, 11 goals in four games so that is just not going to happen so we'll definitely say that he's probably going to go up to a 91 rated which is already insane um, so let's actually have a look and dive deeper into this analysis then where we're just going to study the card really and tell you if it's going to be worth it so he is 5 at 8 high high 4 star 4 star left footed controlled uh, and immediately perfect for a fullback we love that now he can play left mid uh, but I am going to say steer away from this Actually, he could play there if you wanted him to. He actually does look like a prominent winger, but you definitely have to stick a chem style on him. You definitely have to stick like a hunter on him for that. And in terms of linking him, it could be a bit difficult considering there's not many Argentines from La Liga or um, Sevilla players. So, you know, there's, it could be difficult to get a green link there, but it, obviously La Liga is a very popular league. So you might be able to get him up to two quite easily, but three could be, prove a little bit of a struggle for you. Um, so let's actually have a look at these stats then the stuff that really really matters in these cards So he is 83 pace and I would say that was a little bit low and it, it is a bit So, you know, if you're gonna put a chemistry style on him definitely focus on pace there uh, And then shooting is okay. It's actually very very good for a fullback obviously But the 72 finishing would really really let him down if he did play him left mid um, But obviously you can put a chemistry style on that as well No, the passing is absolutely perfect Absolutely nothing wrong with the passing there. And then same with the dribbling, it's, it's amazing. And then also same with defending. Um, it's actually, well, the rest of this card is actually really good apart from the pace and the shooting. So, yeah, it's actually a really, really, really good card here, boys. And especially if you're going to get two upgrades, he might become insane. So let's actually dive deeper into these play styles. And this is what makes a card nowadays. We've got nine uh, and two of these are play style plus. So we've got Relentless, Traveller, Flare. Anticipate, Bruiser, Long Ball Pass, Power Shot, and then the Playstyle Pluses are Ping Pass Plus, which is an okay one, and Whip Pass Plus, which is also an okay one. So they weren't really good Playstyle Pluses there, but it is definitely nice to see that he is a very good card, and we believe that he'll go up two ratings. So for a price of 45k, I would say it is a very, very good purchase for you. 